The following is a special presentation from the WKLM Sports Department. Dungeon West Holmes comes in unbeaten at 5-0 on the season. They're 3-0 and in first place in the OCC. Playing host of the Lady Quakers of New Philadelphia. They're 4-2 on the season and also 3-0 in the Ohio Cardinal Conference. Stay tuned for the pregame show on WKLM. East Holmes Veterinary Clinic in Berlin and Millersburg also owns Pampered Paws in Millersburg and the Red Rough Rough Inn in Berlin. East Holmes Veterinary Clinic is there for all your pet needs. Whether it is for veterinary services, grooming, or boarding, there is only one place to call. That's East Holmes Veterinary Clinic with locations in Berlin at 893-2057, Millersburg at 674-5591, Pampered Paws 674-7297, or the Red Rough Rough Inn at 893-2057. Stop in today. A single-family home located at 10533 State Route 39 Millersburg is listed for sale by Compton Realty and Auctions with an asking price of $349,900. This property was built in 1980 and has three bedrooms and three full baths with 1,848 square feet. Located in the Hazel Asher Allotment Subdivision in the West Hills Local School District. For more information for the shoes of date and time to see this property, contact Mark Lau at 330-674-7355 or check it out at CompanRealty.com. Located in the rolling hills of Holmes County, Kime Home Center is the destination and trusted source for your home building and woodworking needs. They are dedicated to caring for each project like they care for their own. Kime offers free next day delivery on an unmatched selection of stock items within their local delivery area. Shop a growing selection of products available online at kime.express or call to place your order today. Yes, you heard right. You can place your local delivery order online at kime.express. Kime. Built on trust since 1911. If you can see your breath, it's time for winter tires. Bridgestone Blizzak and Firestone winter tires are specially designed to give you better grip and more control in winter's worst weather conditions. So don't let the cold, hard pavement, slush, snow, or ice keep you from where you need to go. Drive with confidence this winter with innovative Bridgestone or durable, dependable Firestone winter tires for your car, truck, SUV, or minivan. Available at Millersburg Tire Service, State Route 39, East of Millersburg. Millersburg Electric is your hometown holiday shopping headquarters with great gifts, large and small. Stop by and see the new line of small GE kitchen appliances, including the Cafe Espresso machine. Make your favorite espresso flavor at the touch of a button. Prefer cold drinks? Consider a GE Opal Nugget countertop ice machine, which makes up to 24 pounds of ice per day. See the unique line of GE small appliances, including mixers, blenders, coffee makers, and more. And Millersburg Electric on State Route 83 South or MillersburgElectric.com. Stop in for the Santa Seafood Sale now through Christmas Eve at Rody's IGA. Hi, this is Scott Rody. We have 31 to 40 count cooked cocktail shrimp, two pound package, $14.88. King crab legs for $39.98 a pound. 16 to 20 count jumbo cooked shrimp, $9.98 a pound. Crab cakes, four for five dollars. 31 to 40 count cooked cocktail shrimp in one pound package, $7.88. Five to six ounce lobster tail for $17.98 a pound. Snow crab clusters, $19.98 a pound. 31 to 40 count easy peel raw shrimp in a one pound package. Package, $6.98, and 21 to 25 count raw peeled and deveined large shrimp in a one pound package, $8.98. That's the seafood sale now through December 24th at Rody's IGA. Before the tip is brought to you by Village Motors of Millersburg. Get your vehicle back on the road smooth and problem-free with Village Motors Collision Center. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and our Collision Center works on all makes and models and has available deductible assistance, along with loaner and rental vehicles available for your use, complimentary oil change packages, not to mention that we are the preferred repair shop for most insurance companies. Ask us about our cleanup packages with four great packages from basic to premium by appointment only starting at $19.95. For collision repair, make your first stop at Village Motors in Millersburg. Alongside West Stone's 89 Cent basketball coach Lindsey Steiner it off to a 5-0 start this season. Lindsey, of course, had that close win last Thursday at Worcester, 42-40, a key win there. Haven't had a lot of those close games so far this year. Talk about just the way your team performed here in a close game to pull out that win. Yeah, like you said, we, you know, up until last week, we hadn't been in that point where, you know, in the fourth quarter, it was a game. The first couple games we played, you know, it was by the fourth quarter, 
it was we had pulled ahead and, and we were in the lead so um, obviously we knew that was what it was going to be and, and it always is whether it's here or there um, that game's always a tight game comes down to the last you know minute or two minutes whatever and um, they handled themselves with composure and you know we're up 10 in the fourth quarter and um, for, for Worcester to come back you know and go on a little run there and then not to be out of control and they, they were composed and they handled themselves well and I'm just really proud of how they how they played and how they played together. That's as much as anything the biggest thing from that game, right? You obviously want to win. It's an important OCC win, but you need to be in those situations here to tell and know how to deal with those uh, later on. Yeah, absolutely. You know, like, if you look at our schedule, which Saturday, last Saturday, Manson Senior game got canceled, which that would have been a good one for us. But, you know, we got a couple games here coming up that are going to be games and that we have to perform at our best. Um, and so we don't want games every week that we're going to win by 20 points. You know, we need to be in those games occasionally that – are going to challenge us and they're going to see where we're at and so that we can get better um, and then not, we're not staying the same from now until february back in our home floor tonight of course take on this new philadelphia team newcomer of course to the occ they've been off to a good start also what stands out to you about this quaker team yeah they i mean they graduated a lot of kids last year a lot of key key players for them have a couple kids back have a couple new kids um but they're well coached they're really disciplined they do the right things um, and so, you know, we know that they're going to be fundamental and they're going to do, they're going to play basketball the way it should be played. And um, it'll be a good game for us. Still kind of come down the defensive end as it always does, blends anything else, but particularly that stands about as far as keys are go tonight. Yeah, I mean, when we get stops, we obviously shoot the ball a lot better. Um, and we have some really good shooters on our team, but when you're not getting stops, it's hard to make shots. And so um, our confidence on the offensive end comes from the defensive end. and. And uh, I think our kids understand that at this point. With all that said, Lindsay, how nice it is to have players that can knock down those shots there, that luxury of having some kids that can be comfortable stepping out and hitting those shots as well. Yeah, I mean, I think our kids, have, like I've said last couple of weeks, they've worked really hard in the offseason to get to that point where, you know, they have the green light to shoot it whenever they're open. Um, and, you know, sometimes I yell at them because they're not shooting the basketball and, and they're being too unselfish. And, um, Sometimes those turn, lead to turnovers, and so I always kind of jokingly, but also at the same time, shoot it before you turn it over. Because a lot of times when you when you pass up a shot, it leads to a turnover. All right, Lindsay, thanks for your time, and good luck tonight. Thank you. That's the voice of Westall's Lady Knights head basketball coach, Lindsay Steiner. Before the Tip has been brought to you by Village Motors of Millersburg. Everywhere, every day, someone somewhere needs someone to care. Young people are especially desirous of someone to show an interest in what they do, where they are going, and what they will become. Denco Marketing of Millersburg believes taking that interest in a young person can make all the difference. Which young person needs your time and interest? Whichever one or ones you can give it to. They'll take care of the rest. Supporting young people in all endeavors is especially important to Denco Marketing of Millersburg where the business at hand is the business of home. It's finally here. That's right, the MRV Sunning Supply brand new facility is fully open for business and ready to serve you. Just down from the previous location on County Road 624 in Middlesburg, the new state-of-the-art facility provides easier access, along with a larger showroom, more products displayed, and more parking. Stop by and see the new look for yourself at MRV Sunning Supply. Get your siding supplies from the Siding Guys, MRV Siding Supply. Start your holiday shopping early by stopping by Elite Flooring and Tile. Whether you're looking for tile, hardwood, carpet, or luxury vinyl, they have a broad selection. Elite Flooring and Tile is a full-service flooring store with over a million square feet of flooring in stock and ready to have installed before the holidays. Be sure to mention the promo code BUYLOCAL and save. Hours are Monday 6 to 7, Tuesday through Friday 6 to 5, and Saturday 8 to noon. Elite Flooring and Tile is conveniently located one mile east of Walnut Creek on State Route 39.
Buckeye Career Center is now accepting high school student applications for next school year. Over 1,000 area sophomores jumped at the opportunity to tour BCC recently, and now is the time to submit your application for one of over 30 high school programs. Remember, cosmetology, utility line worker, intro to nursing, and welding are popular options that fill up quickly. Let us help you discover your passion and prepare for your future through career technical education. Visit BuckeyeCareerCenter.org to learn more about our programs or to apply for next year. We are Buckeye Proud. As the weather is getting colder, it's time to think about fall maintenance on your heating system. Call Berlin Heating and Cooling, your Ream Pro partner, with combined knowledge of over 65 years, and you know that you're calling the very best. Berlin Heating and Cooling services and installs Ream and all types of other furnaces and equipment. Berlin Heating and Cooling, they're your local team you can trust. Call today, 330-893-3057. That's 330-893-3057. 3057. Are you tired of wasting money on your home energy bills? Let home siting contractors show you just how affordable replacing your windows can be. Provia has developed a reputation within the vinyl replacement window industry for having the best features and options. The Provia Endor and Aspect windows are as stunningly beautiful as they are energy efficient and over time will pay for themselves. Call home siting contractors today to set up your free in-home evaluation by calling 888-725-6619. One fifteen at Dover, one sixty four thirty three, and the home win over Lexington, one fifty seven to thirty three. That was at home over Orville, and also a victory of fifty to thirty three, and that was at Mount Vernon before winning in a narrow two point victory at Worcester last Thursday. Won that game forty two to forty. West Holmes has a record of five and zero oh. for New Philadelphia. They lost their first two games, lost 57-42. That was at home to John Glenn, then a 58-51 loss to Indian Creek. And since then, they won four straight. Wins over Madison, Dover, also Ashland. They defeated Dover 31-28 in that game, a three-point winner for them. Then they defeated Ashland and Lexington in their last game, 50-34. New Philadelphia has a record of four and two. West Olds averaging 52.8 a game on offense. The Quakers averaging 43.8 a game. And defensively, the Lady Knights allowing 30.8 points per contest, while New Philadelphia allows 39.5 a game on the defensive end. Of course, the Quakers in the OCC for the first time this year. West Holmes in New Philadelphia, both 3-0 so far in the OCC. After that, it's Worcester at 3-1 in conference play. Then Mount Vernon, Ashland, and Lexington, also Madison, all at 1-3 in the conference action. And Mansfield Senior just 1-1 in the OCC. In the IVC North Division, it's TCC 4-0, Malvern and Stralsburg 4-1 in girls basketball, Buckeye Trail 2-2, two two. East Canton 1-3, Connaughton Valley 0-4, Newcomers Town is 0-3. In the IVC South Division, Highland is in first place at 4-0, Tuskegee Valley is 2-0, Sandy Valley 2-2, two and, two, and Claymont 2-2, two two. Garraway is 2-3, Indian Valley 1-3, Ridgewood is 0-4. Overall around the area in girls basketball thus far, Wayne Dale a record of 5-1, Lattonville is 6-1, Garraway is 5-3, Triway 5-3, Highland a record of 4-3 overall, Danville is 2-2, two and, two, and Central Christian a record of 0-5. See two more to come on the pregame show after this on WKLM. Are you having ongoing issues with your flat or low slope roof? MEB Systems of Sugar Creek specializes in flat or low slope roofs and has been serving the community and beyond since 1977. Whether it's tracking down or resolving that persistent leak, you are in need of a complete roof replacement, or you have a new build, MEB Systems will strive to find the best solution for you. They believe if a job is worth doing, it's worth doing right. Call MEB Systems Incorporated today at 330-852-4333 and visit them online at mebsystems.com. MEB Systems wishes all Holmes County athletes a safe and healthy season. At Wayne Door, we are your trusted partner in helping you build your dream home with quality technicians who pay attention to every detail so you won't have to pay costly future repairs. At Wayne Door, we only install high quality products to protect your family for generations to come. We have your whole house covered with garage doors, windows, and more. So choose the team at Wayne Door. People you can trust since 1973. Visit WayneDoor.com for a free quote today. 
Critchfield Law Firm has always been dedicated to providing the highest quality legal services to their clients throughout Holmes County and surrounding areas. Critchfield Law Firm also understands the dedication of our youth. From the classroom to the music room to athletics, Holmes County's best is represented in every academic area. Critchfield Law Firm in Millersburg, wishing all who participate the best in their endeavors. At the Commercial and Savings Bank, we strive to provide you with information and tools to help you meet your financial goals. This is Jason Hummel, Commercial Relationship Manager in Holmes County. When you partner with CSB, you gain access to a team of local experts who will stand by your side through every phase of your business growth. From commercial lending to cash management services, we are prepared to support your business. Call or text us at 800-654-9015 to connect with a business banker. The Commercial and Savings Bank, member FDIC. If you're a motivated individual looking for employment, then Village Motors may have an opportunity for you to start a career. This is Deke Miller letting you know that Village Motors is now hiring technicians with various levels of experience, service advisors, salespeople, and we're also looking for help in our parts department. We offer competitive pay and benefits and a remarkable work environment. Contact Tom Porman at 674-8543 or email him at tporman at villagemotorsinc.com. Roman & Byler in Millersburg is a local full-service accounting firm. Hello, this is John Byler. We offer a complete range of services from tax, business, and estate planning to bookkeeping and payroll services. When choosing a financial advisor at tax time, choose Broman & Byler at 161 North Washington Street in Millersburg. You can reach us at 330-674-8222. Other girls' games around the area tonight has Waynedale visiting Rittman, Ashland's at Worcester, Madison playing host to Mount Vernon in the OCC, and Mansfield Senior is at Lexington. Matt Troy alongside Don Hall for tonight's broadcast. West Holmes playing host to this new Philadelphia team, and Don, obviously West Holmes off to a great start, 5-0 so far. What have you been able to observe or stood out to you about this West Holmes team this year? Well, what I like about West Holmes so far is they've been able to control the tempo in every single game that they've played in. And uh, West Holmes wants that fast-paced game, try to get some turnovers in the full court set and turn those turnovers into easy buckets. And so far, they've been able to do that. Quakers, the newcomers here of the OCC, for them, uh, new, so different girls, uh, different faces from last year's team. They were so good here, but still off to a pretty good start. What are you expecting to see from them? Well, I mean, typically in years past, uh, it, New Philly has had that just outstanding team, good fundamental team. And then I see they've got three seniors that start today. So uh, I, I assume they're going to be very, very fundamental. They're, they're going to try to slow it down as much as they can and try to work for that really good shot. But uh, I, I, if this is going to be a, just a really good OCC contest between two 3-0 and undefeated teams. And for West Holmes, just kind of keep doing what you've been doing, right? Uh, absolutely, and like I said, it, it all starts with Allie McMillan, and she's going to try to make New Philadelphia's point guard play faster than she wants to play. And uh, so far, I mean, Allie's just, well, we've seen her here for the last three years, and that, that's just sort of her niche, and, and she does a really good job of that. Yes, she certainly does. All right, we'll take a break. And Don Hall, we back around with tonight's starting lineups, then the opening tip on WKLM. Commitment is part of who we are. Commitment to community, commitment to safe and reliable power, and commitment to zero contact. Hi, I'm Jim Stake, a lineman at Holmes Wayne Electric Cooperative. Daily we work around 7,200 volts of electricity. We have many reasons to restore power efficiently and return home safely. We are more than a hard hat and safety vest. We are fathers, brothers, and sons. Holmes Wayne Electric Cooperative, your local electric provider, powered by people. Resetting your password, unsubscribing from emails, printing anything. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with an auto owner's insurance independent agent, getting the right coverage for your business doesn't have to be one of them. So you can get back to more important things, like learning how that printer works. That's simple human sense. Visit Humble Group in Berlin, Mansfield, Newark, Orville, and Worcester, or online at HumbleGRP.com.
A single family home located at 7559 Township Row 105 Middlesburg is listed for sale by Kaufman Realty and Auctions with an asking price of $239,000. This property was built in 1920 and has five bedrooms and two full baths with 2,200 square feet. Located in the West Hills Local School District. For more information or to choose the date and time to see this property, contact Dan Miller at 330-763-4653 or check it out at KaufmanRealty.com. Located in the rolling hills of Holmes County, Kime Home Center is the destination and trusted source for your home building and woodworking needs. They are dedicated to caring for each project like they care for their own. Kime offers free next day delivery on an unmatched selection of stock items within their local delivery area. Shop a growing selection of products available online at kime.express or call to place your order today. Yes, you heard right. You can place your local delivery order online at kime.express. Kime. Built on trust since 1911. Looking for an experienced professional pest control company? Hi, this is Roger Bugs McClure with Holmes Pest Control. With over 40 years in the pest control industry and a lifelong resident of Holmes County, Holmes Pest Control can give you the best service by using the best products at the best price. Call Holmes Pest Control 330-674-9094 or visit our website at homespestcontrolincorporated.com. Another home-owned, homegrown, Holmes County business. Professional service with a personal touch. Millersburg Electric is your hometown holiday shopping headquarters. With great gifts, large and small. Stop by and see the new line of small GE kitchen appliances, including the Cafe Espresso machine. Make your favorite espresso flavor at the touch of a button. Prefer cold drinks? Consider a GE Opal Nugget countertop ice machine, which makes up to 24 pounds of ice per day. See the unique line of GE small appliances, including mixers, blenders, coffee makers, and more. And Millersburg Electric on State Route 83 South or MillersburgElectric.com. If you can see your breath, it's time for winter tires. Bridgestone Blizzak and Firestone winter tires are specially designed to give you better grip and more control in winter's worst weather conditions. So don't let the cold, hard pavement, slush, snow, or ice keep you from where you need to go. Drive with confidence this winter with innovative Bridgestone or durable, dependable Firestone winter tires for your car, truck, SUV, or minivan. Available at Millersburg Tire Service, State Route 39 East of Millersburg. Tonight's starting line is being brought to you by Finish Line Auto Body, located on the north side of Millsburg. If your car is damaged, the best place to get it back in the game is at Finish Line Auto Body. Now for tonight's starting lineups, here's Don Hall. Thank you, Matt. Starting tonight for the visiting team, your new Philadelphia Lady Quakers, number 11, a 5-foot, 9-inch senior, Haley Zadra. Number 14, a 5-foot, 4-inch senior, Lasha Robertson. Number 21, a 5-foot, 9-inch sophomore, Ellie Mason. Number 23, a 5 foot 7 inch senior, Karis Young, and rounding out your starting five, a 5 foot 5 inch junior, number 32, Jazzy Barker. New Philadelphia, a record of 4 and 2 of the season, 3 and 0 in the OCC, coached by Kevin Cornell. And for your home team, your West Holmes Lady Knights, number 24, a 5 foot 5 inch junior, averaging 12 points a game, Keegan Uhl. Number 21, a 5 foot 10 inch sophomore, Aviana Yoder. Number 15, a 5 foot 8 inch junior, Chloe Patton. Number 12, a 5 foot 4 inch junior, Allie McMillan, and rounding out your starting five. Number 14, a 5 foot 9 inch senior, averaging 15.6 points a game, Ella McMillan. West Holmes, a record of 5 0 in the season, 3 0 in the Ohio Cardinal Conference, and they're coached by Lindsay Snyder in her sixth year. And tonight's starting line is brought to you by Finish Line Auto Body. They have experts in collision repair and paint jobs. They do have her car looking brand new. They'll even pay up to $500 of your insurance deductible. Give Brooks a call, 674-1483. Mack Roy Lonside, Don Hall for tonight's broadcast, and Dakota Patterson back at WKLM Sports Central on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com. Of course, this game also being video live streamed
Eastern tonight on the WKLM YouTube page. That is courtesy of the Claxon communication team. Casey Claxon, Lydia Brady, as well as Brady Perkins helping working the, the camera tonight as well. So a three-man crew on the video side. You can find that on YouTube for WKLM or find the link to that on our Facebook page as well. And for the Quakers wearing their black jerseys and black shorts and also their white numerals in red trim. West Holmes, their home white jerseys and white shorts, their red numerals and blue trim as well. Just about ready to get things in the way. Girls high school basketball from the dungeon tonight. Tomorrow night, boys basketball. Tusky Valley is at Highland. And then Saturday, two games coming your way in the afternoon. It's girls basketball. Highland's at Garraway. And then boys basketball Saturday night from the Steve Smith Showcase. And it'll be at Orville. Highland takes on Norway. Jumping for New Philadelphia, that is Ellie Mason, a 5'9 sophomore. And for West Holmes, Chloe Patton, she's a 5'8 junior. There's the whistle. will be tossed up in the air. And won by West Holmes going left to right in the first half from the dungeon. With it out top is Ull, shovels it out top now to Ella McMillan. Right of the foul line, goes to Aviani Yoder, dribbles it. Now hands off to Ella McMillan, drive pass goes to the corner. Drive to the baseline by Patton, cross court pass grabbed by Allie McMillan on the left wing. Dribbles at the foul line, pass goes right side, back to Patton. Dribbles it right wing, out top now into the hands of Keegan Ull. She'll back it up to reset the offense. Lobs it high left to Allie McMillan, left wing to Ella. Holds onto it, dribbles it to the top of the key. Shovels a cross court pass to Patton, high on the right side. West Holmes works the ball around the perimeter. Patton picks it up. Pounce pass from the foul line. The Yoder hands off to Patton. Her layup left hand is going to be good. Patient offense, Don, and West Holmes gets a bucket. Just a perfect give and go. Nice pass to Avion Yoder. Nice cut by Chloe. Easy layup. Focal pressure is on by the Lady Knights. In the backcourt with it is Haley Zadra, 5'9", senior guard. Dribbles it across the half-court line. Zadra takes it high on the right. Gets a pass off into the hands of Lasher Robinson, 5'4", senior guard. In front of that midcourt line. Guarded by McMillan. Dribbles it now high in the left. Picks it up. Cross court pass to the right wing. Grabbed by Kiris Young. Dribbles it. Young. Lobs it back in the corner. Grabbed by Robinson. Now on the right point. Received by Zadra. Dribbles it to the foul line. To the lane. Cross court pass to the corner. Three pointer up by Kiris Young. She'll miss the three. Rebound pulled down by Allie McMillan. West Dole's ball. McMillan will push it across the half court line. On the right wing back to Patton. Patton to the baseline. Her layup is going to be good. It's I tell you, good job by Chloe. A lot of confidence. Didn't hesitate. Got the ball, turned square, and scored. I thought she was sick earlier in the week. <laughs> she was. Sometimes, you know, you play your best games when you're a little bit ill. She's looking pretty good. New Philadelphia basketball on the other end. Goes left wing to Mason. Mason dribbles it now. Knocked away. Reach and foul, though, called on Ella McMillan. Yeah, West Holmes doing a pretty good job putting pressure on the ball, as opposed to New Philadelphia. Down here, they're actually staying off a little bit of the West Holmes ball handlers, respecting their dribble drive. No question about it. 4 nothing lead for West Holmes. It'll be Lady Quakers basketball at side court. 5-9 senior, Haley Zadra to end the bound the basketball. Looking, looking. Finally a pass off into the hands of Robinson. Knocked out of bounds by Allie McMillan, however. Yeah, I mean, New Philadelphia might want to set a few screens on that out-of-bounds play because they're just matching up right with West Holmes. And you don't want to do that. No. In Bannon and grabbed by Robinson in the backcourt. She'll cross the half-court line for the Quakers to the right wing. Picks it up. Shovels the right post, goes inside to Zadra. Her shot blocked, but a foul is called that time on Allie McMillan. That'll be the second team foul on West Holmes, and Allie McMillan has her first. Foul's on number 12, Allie McMillan. So at the foul line, it'll be uh, two free throws here for Haley Zadra, 5'9 senior. Looking to get on the board for the first time for the Quakers. The free throw up going to be no good, however, on the back of the rim. She'll have one more to go. Stay tuned immediately following the game for high school scoreboard on WKLM. It's brought to you tonight by Village Motors. And Dakota Patterson reporting on all the scores from around the area all the way until midnight. Second free throw, no good. Missed them both. Rebound goes to Allie McMillan. Long pass to the front court, grabbed by Ull. Cross court pass goes to Ella McMillan. She'll take it to the baseline, cut off. Loves it back to Ull. Now high on the left side for West Holmes. Her pass deflected, but grabbed by Patton, high on the right. Back to Ull against that 2 3 zone defense. Ull, pass right wing, goes to Ally McMillan to the right corner. Drive to the baseline by Patton. Whips it out top to Ella. Drive. Lane, runner by McMillan. Being no good by Ella McMillan. Rebound grabbed inside. And picked up by New Philadelphia's Jazzy Barker. Quakers basketball across the timeline. Right corner, here's Robinson. She's cut off. Hits the right wing back to Barker. Gets the handoff over to Zadra. On the left point, received by Mason. Back out top in the hands of Robinson. Dribbles the left point. 4 0 West Holmes. 5 15 to play. First quarter from the dungeon. On the left wing, received now by Mason. Mason dribbles it against Ella McMillan. 
Gets the handoff behind here to Robinson as they try to navigate and figure out this West Holmes defense. Robinson now top with the dribble. Picks it up. Now left side goes to Zandra. Into the corner. Here's the dribble on the left wing. To the baseline by Karras Young. Double team. Pass inside. Finds it open. Ellie Mason who makes it up and in. And fingers on the board for the first time. That was a good cut by Mason. Nice pass. Easy layup. 4-2 West Holmes. Four and a half to play first quarter. Lady Knights basketball. Here's Allie McMillan with it in the front court. Right wing to Ella. Dribbles it to the corner. Pass pass to the right block. Goes inside. Over to Avi Gunner. She'll miss the layup. Rebound to the four. Dove after. Grabbed by Zadra on the four. Still a scrum for the basketball. This time it's going to be tied up. And the arrow does point to New Philadelphia. Yeah, New Philadelphia is doing a pretty good job of switching up defenses already in there. Just making West Holmes stop. That's a way to slow them down a little bit. Stop and think. Make sure they set up in their zone offense. Not be comfortable. I mean, the Quakers will have the basketball now. On the four now for West Holmes. Joining Allie McMillan is Neely Fair checking in the four. Also, Ellen McMillan will stay out there. And also checking in is Briar Klein. As well as for the Lady Knights, it'll be Zelina Proper, 5'6 freshman for West Holmes. Quakers basketball, and it'll be an injury as they'll stop play. Little Lady Quaker players down on the floor. So they will attend to her with 4-10 to play first quarter. West Dole's a 4-2 lead. We'll take an injury timeout. This is girls high school basketball on WKLM. Beachy's Auto Care and Truck Center continues to offer the convenience of two great locations on US 62 in Weinsburg and on County Road 201 in Berlin. The Winesburg shop will take care of heavy-duty truck and fleet customers from 7 a.m. to midnight, while the Berlin facility will repair auto and light trucks from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Contact them in Winesburg at 359-5421 or in Berlin at 674-6970. That's Beachy's Auto Care and Truck Center in Winesburg and Berlin. 5'7", senior guard Karis Young, the injured player. She's able to get up and walk off gingerly to the sidelines, so hopefully she'll be all right. And we'll get play resumed here, and the Quakers will have the basketball in down by two. Back right alongside Don Hall for tonight's broadcast. It'll be Lasher Robinson to him out and out top. To Barker, now the right point, back in the near side. Here's Barker, left wing, three-pointers up in there, going to be knocked down. Jazzy Barker gives the Quakers their first lead at 5-4. Caught the ball, doesn't he didn't hesitate. Nice looking shot. West Oles with the basketball. Here's Allen McMillan to the front court. On the right wing to Ella McMillan. Dribbles it to the foul line. Cut off. Left wing back to Allie McMillan. She'll back it up now high on the left side. 345 to play in the first quarter. Now Ella McMillan has it on the right point. Dribbles it. Pass right corner goes to Briar Klein. And the quarterback to Ella McMillan, drive to the lane, cut off, goes crashing in there, and going to be a travel call. And West Oles will pick up their first turnover of the first quarter. I'm telling you, I'm really impressed with New Philadelphia's defense. Good help defense. They're, they're once again, respecting West Holmes' penetration, just playing off of them. They really are. Solid job defensively so far for the Quakers. They have the ball as Robinson will cross the half-court line against that press. Takes it to the foul line. Pass goes right point now. Received by Kaiser. Dribbles to the left point. Kaiser spins around. Goes out top of the pass. Now the dribble to the baseline. To the right block. And be grabbed inside by Stokey. Picks it out top, but stolen away. Oh, gets the steal. Now, excuse me, Allen McMillan with the steal. Her pass goes to Allen McMillan, who bakes it up and in. And West Oles re-grabs the lead at 6-5. A lot of McMillan right there. <laughs> McMillan to McMillan. Yes. And Ella finishes the job. Quakers have the basketball. Here's the dribble across the timeline. On the left point, here's Ellie Mason. Near side corner goes to Lasher Robinson. Robinson takes it back out top. 2.48 to play first quarter. 6-5 West Holmes. That pass into the hands now of Barker. On the right point, back to Kaiser. Back to Barker to the foul line. Her shot blocked inside by Aviani Utter. Actually, say Neely Fair got the block. Rebound by Allie McMillan. Into the front court, nice pass inside by Klein. The proper who makes it up and in. There you got your two freshman girls hooking up together. Nice job. 8-5 Lady Knights now all of a sudden. 2.20 to play in the first quarter. Quakers basketball to the front court. Here's Robinson to the left block. Cut off. Nobody open. Her pass in the paint goes inside to Kaiser. Kaiser goes up with it, goes back down. That's going to be a travel call. And the Quakers will have their third turnover of the first quarter. 
At the conclusion of tonight's contest, we'll be announcing the Subway Player of the Game. That player receives one complimentary foot-long fresh value meal from the Subway at 995 South Washington Street in Middlesbrough. 8-5 West Stoles, they have the ball. Pass goes left wing. Into the hands of Klein. Ryer Klein dribbles it out top. Now to Ool, high on the right side. Right corner received now by Patton. Now top back to Keegan Ool. Ool to the left point. 150 to play in the first. Right corner stolen away. That time by Corey Kaiser, the second West Stoles turnover. Here's Robinson across the timeline. Double team, kicks it out top. Chased back down now by Zadra. Back to Robinson, high on the right side. 8-5 West Holmes. Quakers had the basketball for a minute and a half to play first quarter. On the left wing, we're seeing now by Barker. Dribbles it out top. Picks it up too soon. Guarded tightly by Patton. Lobs the left wing. We're seeing by Zadra. Zadra to the foul line. To the lane. Back in the corner. To Kaiser. Her three-pointers up there going to be no good. Rebound going to be to the four. A scrum for the basketball again. Finally picked up by Robinson. Pass inside. Guy by Kaiser. She'll be hacked on the arm. That's going to be a foul called. Foul on Ool. That'll be her first 13 foul on West Ole. That's a good look by Robinson. She got that offensive rebound. Instead of shooting that little 10 shot, nice little dish for an easy layup, but got fouled. 107 to play in the first quarter. So at the foul line, it's going to be Marilyn Stokey, the 5'11 senior, actually one that got fouled. That free throw up and be knocked down. Her first point of the game. Stop by the jewelry store for your last-minute Christmas shopping needs with free gift wrapping and gift cards, along with great stocking stuffers like jewelry cleaner. And, yes, they still have lots of jewelry, too. That's the jewelry store, 97 West Jackson Street in historic downtown Millersburg. Second free throw up, knocked down by Stokey. Makes them both, and Quakers back to within one. West Ole's ball, one minute to go in the first quarter. Stolen away by Robinson. Robinson all alone for a layup. She'll bank it up and in, and the Quakers have a lead again at 9-8. to eight. Her first two for Lasher Robinson at the third lead change of the quarter. West Ole's ball, 50 seconds to play. Pass goes cross court, but thrown away by Ool, trying to find her teammate instead of Chloe Patton. That'll be another turnover on West Holmes. Uh, well, you know, New Philadelphia sort of turned the tables on West Holmes right now. Their fourth turnover. 40 seconds to play in the first. Here's Robinson across the half court line. Bounce pass, pass right wing. Received now by Kaiser. Whips it out top. Now to Stokey. Holds onto it. Back on the right wing. Received by Zadra. Dribbles it foul circle. Shovels it out top. Received by Barker now. Barker near the midcourt line. 20 seconds. Hands it off now over to uh, Stokey. Her pass deflected on the four. Diving after it. Going to be tied up. And the held ball arrow does point to West Ole. So a turnover on the Quakers. And they're now up to four as well in the first quarter. 17.5 seconds to play in the first. As it'll be Eppenshield, 5-3 sophomore checking in. Cecilia Eppenshield for Quakers. West Oles has the ball. Here's Ool into the front court. Double team. Goes high on the right side of the pass to Patton. Cross court pass to Proper. Eight seconds to go. On the right wing back to Ool. Five seconds. Ool to the foul line. Dumps it inside. Nice look. Shots up in the air. Going to be no good on that shot. Missed. Rebound by Kaiser after that miss. Inside for West Holmes in Ava Yanni Yoder. And that allowed the first quarter to come to close from the dungeon. It is New Philadelphia 9 and West Holmes 8. This is girls OCC basketball on WKLM. Danko Marketing of Millersburg reminds you that a properly working and maintained garage door is critical to safety. Door springs, bottom brackets, cables, and supports are under extreme tension and can cause serious injury if dealt with them properly. That's why your local garage door dealer is the one to trust. His professional expertise keeps your garage door working as it should and puts the job in the right hands. A safety and service tip from Denko Marketing of Millersburg, where the business at hand is the business of home. The Holmes County Chamber of Commerce and Tourism Bureau is proud to support our local athletes. Our mission is to help our members succeed through advocacy, leadership, economic development, innovation, communication, and maintaining our community's identity. Visit www.homescountychamber.com.
just about ready for the start of the second quarter of action. As the Quakers had the basketball, they have a one-point lead. First quarter numbers courtesy of Don Hall. West Holmes did not attempt a three-point shot, while the Quakers were one for three for 33%. New Philadelphia two for two from two-point range. West Holmes four for seven for 57%. West Olds did not attempt the foul shot. The Quakers were two for four for 50% from the charity stripe. The Quakers out rebounding West Olds four to three, and each team had four turnovers in the first quarter. Meanwhile, West Olds steals the ball to begin the second. Nice pass by Allie McMillan. Goes off the hands of Ella McMillan and out of bounds. And it'll be a turnover on West Olds on the other end of the floor. That's been kind of the story on both sides. Pretty even on that end. That's so true. I just think... Uh I mean, a little bit of jitters this first, you know, first half, first quarter. Uh, we'll see what happens here this second quarter right now. Quakers had the basketball up 9-8. Here's Robinson across the timeline. Double team. Her pass goes into the hands of Barker, who takes it to the left side. Out top to Robinson. Robinson, nice pass to the baseline. Dumps it inside the paint. That layup going to be by Stokey. Banks it up and in. 5'11 senior, Marilyn Stokey. Now 11-8, New Philadelphia. Uh, really good use of that left hand. Shield the body. Finish. And she has four. Three-point on the other end by Uhl. No good off the back of the rim. Rebound grabbed by Allie McMillan. Nice dump pass by Uhl. Goes inside to Avion Yoder, who banks it up and in. Yoder, her first two. West Stoll's back to within one. Pressure is on. Here's Robinson, a three-quarter score. She'll take it into the front court. Robinson dribbles it. Now pass goes to the right corner. Received by Zandra. Picks it up. Pass deflected. And goes out of bounds off the hands of Barker. It will be a Quaker turnover. They're sixth. Kime Home Center is the destination and trusted source for your home building and woodworking needs, offering free next day local area delivery. Place your local delivery order online at Kime.express. Lady Knights basketball, they trail by one at 11 to 10 in the second quarter. Ella McMillan high on the right side. Cross court pass goes left wing over to Patton. Out top now to Uhl. Uhl dribbles it to the foul line. On the left point to Allie McMillan. On the right point back to Patton. Patton to the foul line. Dumps the pass lower on the right side to Yoder. Her shot's up going to be no good. Missed the rim. Rebound grab by Stokey. Bakers basketball up 11 to 10. Robinson across the timeline. Long pass received by Zandra in the front court. Left wing, back behind her, goes to Kiros Young, who was injured in the first, first quarter, but she's back. Now to Robinson, dribbles it out top. Picks it up, guarded by Uhl. Back in the right wing, back to Kiros Young. Out top to Mason. She'll hand it off to Haley Zandra at the top of the key. Zandra to the foul line. Back in the far side to Young. Cross court, front pass, goes to Ellie Mason. Right wing down the drive by Zandra. Zadra up on her move off the glass and good. Nice little Euro step by Zadra. Certainly was. Her first two, 13-10 Quakers. West Stoll's ball. Pass to the corner goes out of bounds. Meanwhile, by Allie McMillan trying to found Ooh. Instead, the sixth West Stoll's turnover. Yeah. I mean, New Philly is, is, is working their perfect game. They're, they're content to come down and, and run a minute off that clock and just run their offense. They've been very patient on that end. Ball embedded and grabbed by Ellie Mason. Now Robinson across the half court line. Five and a half to play in the first half. Quakers ball and a three-point lead. Robinson right wing. Dribble sitting against McMillan. Pass goes to the corner. Dribble to the foul line to Zandra. Out top of the pass to Karis Young. Right corner back to Mason. Dumps it inside. Knocked out of bounds off of West Holmes. Good double team. It'll stay with New Philadelphia. That's pretty good backside help from West Holmes. Had a girl in front and one behind. Good defense. Robinson to inbound beneath their own backboard for the Quakers. Pass to the corner, goes to Mason. Mason to the baseline. Here layup going to be blocked, but a foul is called on the attempted block by Briar Klein. Her first 14 foul on West Holmes. Well, that's actually a, a pretty good foul by, by Klein because that was a wide open layup. Good recovery to make her make some free throws. And Ellie Mason's at the foul line, 5'9 sophomore. Free throw up in the air going to be no good. She'll have one more to go. At the conclusion of the tonight's contest, we'll be announcing the Subway player of the game. That player receives one complimentary foot-long fresh value meal from the Subway in Millersburg. Second free throw, knocked down. Mason splits the pair. She has three, 14-10, New Philadelphia. Westall's ball. Here's Allie McMillan across the timeline. A little 2-2-1 pressure on by the Quakers. McMillan has it out top. Loves it. Going to be stolen away by Robinson. Westall's the turnover. And then a double dribble called on Robinson. So they'll get the ball up right back. 
Each team, again, up to seven turnovers now in the first half. I mean, this is a good job by New Philadelphia once again changing defenses. They went to a 2-2-1, sort of a soft half-court trap right there. A lot of different looks. Now West Oles has it, trying to look for a basket here. McMillan's pass goes left wing. Received by Klein. Out top deflected and stolen again by Robinson. Robinson to the front court. Out top, down to the foul line. Her pass deflected, batted away, and stolen by Ella McMillan. Her way up on the other end is going to be no good. Rebound by Allie McMillan, and she'll be knocked in the four by Marilyn Stokey. The first team foul on the Quakers in the first half. Stokey, of course, has her first. And it'll be on the floor. Checking in now is going to be Tori Kaiser replacing Marilyn Stokey for New Philadelphia. And for West Holmes, Zelina Proper. And she's replacing Allie McMillan. West Holmes trails at 14-10. Four and a half a play in the second. Embedded out top. Goes to Klein. Hands off to Ella McMillan. Her three-pointers top of the key going to be off the mark. Goes out of bounds. Missed everything. And right now, West Oles a little bit out of sorts on that offensive side. They were, and, and I, I attribute that seriously to, all to New Philadelphia, just changing things up on them. 14-10 Quakers. They had the ball. Four and a half the play in the half. Here's Robinson across the timeline. Lost it. Stolen away by Proper. Proper on the other end on the fast break. Her pass goes too strong ahead of Ullen. Out of bounds. And right now, they're matching each other. 18-9 <laughs> turnovers. It, just, it seems like one will get a steal and turn it over at the other end. I think that's happened twice tonight, both both ways. Stay tuned immediately following the game for high school scoreboard on WKLM. It's brought to you tonight by Village Motors. Dakota Patterson reporting on all the scores from around the area all the way until midnight. Quakers basketball. And the dribble by Karis Young. Her pass to the front court to Zandra as they'll beat the pressure. Zandra dribbles it now to the right wing. Carries it. No call. Pass behind her goes to Young. Guarded by Proper. Young to the top of the key. Lobs the left wing. Dribble by Barker to the corner. She's double teamed. Barker, nowhere to go with it. And finally a timeout called by New Philadelphia. Four minutes to play first half. Quakers 14, Lady Knights 10. This is Girls OCC Basketball on WKLM. The Holmes County Chamber of Commerce and Tourism Bureau is proud to support our local athletes. Our mission is to help our members succeed through advocacy, leadership, economic development, innovation, communication, and maintaining our community's identity. Visit www.homescountychamber.com. Four-point lead for the Quakers. They had the basketball out of that timeout. With it on the back baseline is Jazzy Barker, 5'5", junior. Lobs it out top. It'll be received now by Mason to the corner. Three-pointer by Barker. Going to be up in the air. No good. Missed everything. Rebound grabbed by Zadra. Backs it up out top. Now to Kiros Young. Young dribbles it high on the right against Zelina Proper. Young now to the left wing. Spins around. Pass going to be received by Mason. Now out top of the pass to Haley Zadra. To reset the offense. On the right wing, back to Young. Young with it out top. 14-10 Quakers. They had the ball. Left wing back to Kaiser. Kaiser dribbles it. Picks it up. Mouse pass goes over to Zandra. Zandra backs it in. Zandra shot blocked inside. Rebound goes to Briar Klein. Klein takes it herself across the timeline. Cross court pass now over to Patton. On the right wing, back over to Ull. Ull three-pointers up in the air, going to be no good. Rebound going to be corralled by Kiris Young. Three minutes to go in the second quarter. Still a four-point lead for the Quakers. Here's Zandra to the foul line. On the right wing, back to Ellie Mason. Mason to the lane. Juggles it. Knocked loose to the four and stole it away. Back to Proper. Proper on the fast break for West Holmes. Proper, layup going to be no good. Rebound going to be hold in by Ellie Mason. And West Oles right now, a lid on that basket for them. A little official timeout here. And I believe uh, checking out. Is that Klein that's yes, uh, shaking that's up? Yes, Klein, yes. So Klein's shaking up, she'll be attended to, and that's the reason why the official Ella blew that whistle. So in now is Ella McMillan. Allie McMillan is out there as well. 
getting a little rest here, see if he can kind of rev things up a little bit for this Lady Knights team. Yeah, and, and well, you and I talked a little bit off air, but uh, West, West Holmes hasn't been able to score, so they've set up their press, and that's how they sort of get some points off of turnovers off that press. And a big difference. Baker's basketball drive by Robinson. Her layup no good. Rebound goes to Ella McMillan. She'll push it across the timeline for West Holmes. McMillan on the fast break. Her layup from the off the glass. That is going to be good. Ella McMillan has four. Now the press is on. West Holmes down by two. Embedded and grabbed by Stokey. Marilyn Stokey gets the handoff. Here's Robinson. And she will cross the timeline. Robinson to the foul line to the lane. Her lamp is going to be oh. no good. Rebound goes to Chloe Patton. West Holmes ball. Allie McMillan across the timeline. Two minutes to play in the half. West Holmes trails it 14-12. Pass to be kicked off the foot of Robinson. It'll stay with West Holmes. Yeah, the, the one thing in New Philadelphia, they've got two layups there. You know, they need to try to finish those, keep that lead. So West Holes will have the inbounds pass. Here's Keegan Ull. Ull looking to the corner, grabbed by Ellen Back to Ull. Ull's three-pointers up in the air, knocks it down. Keegan Ull has her first points of the half. And West Holmes does re-grab that lead at 15-14 on that shot. I believe on a 7-0 run right now. Yeah, that is the fourth lead change. Across the timeline, here's the double team. Floated away by a Young, will be grabbed by Robinson. Back in the left wing, the Parker. Corner three-pointer by Young, is knocked down. Karis Young, her first points of the half. That'll snap that run, now 17-15 lead for the Quakers. Pass by Ull, right block goes to Neely Fair. She'll make it up and in. Good post by Neely, nice entry pass as well. Her first two, and we're tied up at 17. Pressure on, dribbled by Karras Young, a three-quarters where she falls down, stolen away by Ull. Ull with the layup is going to be good. Ull now has five. West Holmes back to a two-point lead. And Quakers up to 11 turnovers in the half. Presses on, embedded to Robinson. One minute to play, second quarter. Robinson double team. Looking, looking, gets a pass off, but now a timeout call. With 55 seconds to go in the half, West Holmes 19, New Philadelphia 17. This is girls OCC basketball on WKLM. Stop in for the Santa Seafood Sale now through Christmas Eve at Rody's IGA. Hi, this is Scott Rody. We have 31 to 40 count cooked cocktail shrimp, two pound package, $14.88. King crab legs for $39.98 a pound. 16 to 20 count jumbo cooked shrimp, $9.98 a pound. Crab cakes, four for five dollars. 31 to 40 count cooked cocktail shrimp in one pound package, $7.88. Five to six ounce lobster tail for $17.98 a pound. Snow crab clusters, $19.98 a pound. 31 to 40 count easy peel raw shrimp in a one pound package. Package, $6.98 and 21 to 25 count raw peeled and devein large shrimp in a one pound package $8.98. That's the seafood sale now through December 24th at Rody's IGA. Able to do here in the last minute and a half, two minutes. I think they scored seven points in about a 35 second span there. Quakers basketball under a minute to play in the second quarter. Into the front court, grabbed by Barker on the left wing. Into the corner, goes over to Robinson. Dumps it left post, goes inside the Stokey. Back out top. Over to Barker, to the corner, grabbed by Robinson, left ball post, to be knocked away, and finally grabbed off the ricochet to Stokey. Pass inside the Kaiser, knocked away again, finally stolen by Ella McMillan. She'll take it to the front court, McMillan to the foul line, to the lane, goes crashing in there, contact, no foul, missed the shot, rebound grabbed by Fair. On the left wing to Ull, she's wide open for a three-pointer, she'll miss the shot, rebound goes to Barker. Knocked away, stolen by Allie McMillan. Back to Ella. Right block inside goes to Fair. Back to Ella McMillan into the corner. 13 seconds. Drive to the baseline. Here's Fair. Her lamp is to no good. Rebound going to be snapped out of bounds. Off the ends of Ella McMillan. It will be Quakers basketball. 7.8 seconds to play in the half. 19-17 West Holmes. Full court pressure on by the Lady Knights. Embedded. Grabbed by Robinson. Robinson across the timeline. Five seconds. Right wing pass to the corner. Three-pointer by Barker up in the air. Going to be knocked down as the first half comes to a close. Jazzy Barker, her second three of the half in the halftime score. That'll give the Quakers a one-point lead. They lead in the halftime. New Philadelphia 20 and West Holmes 19. Back around the recap the first half for you after this on WKLM. It's finally here. That's right, the MRD Sunning Supply brand new facility is fully open for business and ready to serve you. Just down from the previous location on County Road 624 in Middlesburg, the new state-of-the-art facility provides easier access, along with a larger showroom, 
more products displayed, and more parking. Stop by and see the new look for yourself at MRV Siding Supply. Get your siding supplies from the siding guys. MRV Siding Supply. When it comes to service, nobody cares more than Village Motors in Millersburg. This is Deke Miller, and I'm proud to say that we have state-of-the-art equipment and factory-trained technicians working on your vehicle when you visit. And we also offer a variety of preventative maintenance programs designed to greatly reduce the cost of your service visits. We are competitive, convenient, and we care. So the next time you need your vehicle service, stop by and see us at Village Motors in Millersburg. Since 1991, the Holmes County Education and Community Foundation has awarded more than $10.5 million in scholarships to more than 2,700 Holmes County residents pursuing higher education. This year, the foundation has expanded into a full-fledged community foundation, which will allow strategic grants to other nonprofit organizations for the good of the community. Scholarships for the 2023-2024 academic year will be available on our website, www.hcef.net, starting in January. Holmes County residents and Holmes County High School graduating seniors may apply. Looking to cater your next event or party? Subway offers catering for groups of any size. Whether it's for work or a party, game day or birthday, Subway has every cater-worthy occasion covered with a legendary lineup of subs, wraps, drinks, desserts, and more. So when you have a group to feed, make your birthday parties, office gatherings, school functions, or other events fun and delicious and a lot easier with catering from Subway restaurants. Order online today, Subway.com. Subway, eat fresh. Freshly prepared per order. Advance notice may be required for catering orders. As the weather is getting colder, it's time to think about fall maintenance on your heating system. Call Berlin Heating and Cooling, your Ream Pro partner, with combined knowledge of over 65 years, and you know that you're calling the very best. Berlin Heating and Cooling services and installs Ream and all types of other furnaces and equipment. Berlin Heating and Cooling, they're your local team you can trust. Call today, 330-893-3057. That's 330-893-3057. This is Raleigh Mast. I'm a fleet mechanic with Yoder Lumber Logistics. We are a truck load carrier and broker servicing customers east of the Rocky Mountains. We have a fleet of late model equipment specializing in flatbed and Conestoga freight. At Yoder Lumber Logistics, we take pride in offering our customers fast and friendly service at competitive rates for all their inbound and outbound needs. Give us a call today at 330-893-3131. When you're thinking of an old-fashioned smokehouse flavor, think Sugar Valley Meats. They cure their own ham and bacon in the old-fashioned smokehouse uses hickory, apple, and sassafras. Processing, curing, and custom butchering are available. Cut to your specifications. Stop in and see all the products that they offer. That's Sugar Valley Meats on Dutch Valley Drive in Sugar Creek. Turn left at the light, and Sugar Valley Meats is one quarter mile on the right. Call today, 330-852-4423. Second quarter, first half, they saw six lead changes and also one tie. And the Quakers have a one-point lead at 20-19 to 19 over West Holmes. In the first half, individually for New Philadelphia, they were led by Jazzy Barker. Barker in that first half, two for three on three-point tries for her total of six points. Also three points scored by Ellie Mason and four points for Marilyn Stokey. Three points scored by Karis Young and two apiece for Haley Zandra and Lasher Robinson running out the Quakers' total of 20 points in the first half. For West Holmes leading the way, it was Keegan Uhl. Uhl in that first half of action would go one of four on three-point tries, one for one from two-point range, her total of five points. Then Ella McMillan had four points in the first half. She was 0 for 1 on three-point tries and 2 for 5 from two-point range for her total of four. Four points also scored by Chloe Patton in the first half. And two apiece for Avion Yoder, Neely Fair, and Zelina Proper running out the West Holmes total of 19. Halftime score, New Philadelphia 20, West Holmes 19. Now for the first half, team numbers, here's Don Hall. Yeah, thank you, Matt. First half score, New Philadelphia 20, West Holmes 19. Three-point field goals, New Philadelphia 3-6 for 50%. West Holmes 1 of 5 for 20%. Two-point field goals, New Philadelphia 4 of 7 for 57%. West Holmes 8 of 16 for 50%. From the free throw line, New Philadelphia 3 of 6 to 50%. And West Holmes has yet to take a free throw. Total rebounds, each team with 10. 
Turnovers, New Philadelphia with 12, and West Holmes with nine. Individual rebounds, West Holmes leading the way for them. Allie McMillan had four boards, two at the offensive end. And for New Philadelphia, it was Haley Zandra who had two rebounds in that first half. Halftime score, 20 to 19 lead for New Philadelphia here. And, and Don, what have you seen that the Quakers have been able to do defensively to kind of make things tough on West Holmes in the what, first half? What, what I liked, what New Philadelphia did, A, was was changing defenses. That, that sort of slowed West Holmes down a little bit, and West Holmes wants to play at that little bit faster pace. But also, when they did their man-to-man -man defense, they weren't totally up against them and trying to pressure West Holmes because I think they respect West Holmes' ball handling abilities and get the ball to the hoop. And uh, West Holmes is sort of, I don't know, they, they didn't know what to do on that because normally they'll get somebody on them, they'll go around them, and, you know, it's five on four then. Um, but the, the, and then on the offensive end, New Philadelphia, it, they're, they're so content to run 30 seconds, 45 seconds a minute off the clock. You know, and especially with the lead, that that's uh, working yeah. into your hands. You know, and uh, so they are sort of controlling the tempo right now, and West Holmes is not used to that. West Holmes just comes down to kind of knocking down some shots here in the second half, right? Yeah, that's true. Uh, from the three-point line, one of five, and uh, the shooting 50% uh, from the, from the two-point field goals, but uh, New Philly is shooting 50% from the two-point and over 50%, 57%, uh, well, actually 50% from three-point field goals and 57% from two-point field goals. So they're shooting a ball. The only place they're not shooting a ball is very good is from the free throw line, three of six. We'll see what happens here in the second half. Halftime score, Quakers 20 and Lady Knights 19. Back with the second half after this on WKLM. At Promotion Therapy Services, customer service and specialized treatment options are what set us apart. We work hard for our patients day in and day out. Our team of physical and occupational therapists are conveniently located for you in the heart of Millersburg. Can't come to us? We'll come to you with our team of therapists who specialize in home health services. We make it easy to receive physical therapy, emphasizing a close relationship with your physician as well as helping you navigate the insurance process. Our team is excited to begin offering new services such as dry needling, sports-focused rehab, foot orthosis consultations, and taping. With questions, call us, 330-600-0844, or visit us online at promotion-therapy.com. We look forward to promoting a better you and would like to wish all winter sports a safe and healthy season. Are you tired of wasting money on your home energy bills? Let home siting contractors show you just how affordable replacing your windows can be. Provia has developed a reputation within the vinyl replacement window industry for having the best features and options. The Provia Endor and Aspect windows are as stunningly beautiful as they are energy efficient and over time will pay for themselves. Call home siting contractors today to set up your free in-home evaluation by calling 888-725-6619. Sally, you need a root canal. Traveling, you need your wisdom teeth out. Traveling, you need braces. Traveling, you need a dental implant. Traveling, you need your teeth cleaned. Traveling, that's it, happy feet. You're benched until you start going to Dr. Welsh for your dental care. Quit traveling so much. Yes, Coach. I'll check out their website at www.drbradwelsh.com and give them a call at 330-674-4876. Good luck to all area winter sports teams. If you need hauling done, then go with a place that will leave a legacy. At Legacy General Hauling. Whether it's commercial or residential, Legacy General Hauling is an independent contractor allowing them to do custom hauling for any of their customers. They have semi-truck and trailers for hauling equipment, telehandlers, man lifts, and more. They can even spread gravel for driveways. They have single-axle, A-tandem, and tri-axle dump trucks. That's Legacy General Hauling on County Road 201 between Middlesburg and Berlin. Give them a call at 330-204-5003. That's 330-204-5003. Flu season is coming soon. Hi, this is Joel Gauss from Premier Pharmacies in Berlin and Millersburg, letting you know that it is just about time to head to the pharmacy for your annual flu vaccine. Receiving your flu vaccine protects against four different types of the flu that are likely to be circulating in our area this year. This protection lasts four to six months. So we recommend late September to early October as the best time to get vaccinated and be protected during peak flu season. Flu shots will be available at both our Berlin location and our newer Millersburg location inside Rhodey's IGA with no appointment necessary. We hope to see you soon at Premier Pharmacy, your hometown independent pharmacy. 
Melway Paving Company is a well-known asphalt paving contractor for homes in surrounding counties since 1964, specializing in asphalt paving, chip and seal, and seal coating. For your next paving project, call Melway Paving at 330-279-9000. Melway Paving is a proud supporter of all Holmes County athletes. Boys basketball, it'll be Tusky Valley at Highland. It'll be on FN 95.3 and WKLMFN.com. Airtime 7 o'clock. And then Saturday, two games. Both will be video live streamed on YouTube Saturday in the afternoon. Highland at Garraway. And then Saturday night, a 6 p.m. game. It'll be Highland against Norway over at Orville. Also video live stream on YouTube. This game also tonight, of course, being video live streamed on the WKLM YouTube page. Can receive our partnership with Claxon Communications, Casey Claxon, Lydia Brady, and also Greg Perkins, all helping provide the video feed for tonight on YouTube. We're also on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com. Dakota Patterson back at WKLM Sports Central. Best Wolves basketball to begin the third quarter. Pass goes over to Keegan Ohl out top to the corner to Ella McMillan. Out top back to Ohl. She'll find Patton on the right wing back to Allie McMillan. Dribbles it out top now to Patton. On the left point to Ella, dribbles it to the foul line. Out top back to Allie McMillan at the top of the key. She'll find Ooh on the left point. Let's see, work the ball around the perimeter. Does West Holmes to begin the second half. Now to Aviana Yoder. Left wing back to Patton. Patton to the foul line. To the lane. Her lane puts be off the glass. And good. Chloe Patton gives West Holmes a 21-20 advantage. Just like she started the ball game. Nice little take by Chloe Patton. She has six points. That's the seventh lead change of the game. Quakers basketball going left to right with it. Here's Robinson out top. Now to Zander on the right point. Picks it up too soon. Looking out top of the pass down to Ellie Mason. Mason, poke loose, she'll grab it. Back in the corner to Robinson, knocked out of bounds. It'll be off of Robinson's hands. Good defense by Allie McMillan. That'll be a Quaker turnover. I'm not 100% sure, but I think Allie McMillan guarded all five players <laughs> that little possession. I think you're right. <laughs> she covers some ground. Yes, she, she does. West Holes with it. McMillan across the timeline. Here's the handoff to Ull. Cross court pass to Patton. Left wing back to Ella McMillan. 21 20 West Holmes. McMillan dribbles it out top. She'll find Allie now high on the right side. Back in the corner, received now by Patton. Out top to Allie McMillan. Her pass to the corner goes to Ella. Dribbles to the baseline. Her 10 footers up in the air, going to be off the mark. Rebound grabbed by Allie Mason. Quakers ball across the timeline. Mason with it high on the left. West Holmes a one point lead. Quakers have it. Here's Robinson out top. Gets the handoff. Here's Zadra to the right wing. Her bounce pass from the foul line. Back to Zadra. Her shot blocked inside by Ella McMillan, but they call her for the foul. And it'll be for McMillan, her second personal foul. Well, that's a nice, nice feed to the post and a good cut to the basket. Will give and go. And now at the foul line, two free throws here for New Philadelphia with 6.17 to play, third quarter. Free throws up, going to be uh, knocked down. And a Haley Zadra at the foul line. She'll have one more to go. Three points for her. Second free throw's up. That's going to be good. Makes them both. Four points for Zadra. Now a 22-21 lead for the Quakers. That'll be lead change number eight tonight. Quakers back into his own defense. Changing that look to the front court. Here's Ull. Back to Allie McMillan. Back to Ella. Back to Allie out top. Her pass to the corner goes to Ull. Ull dribbles it. Left post inside goes to Yoder, out top. Back over to Ull. Ull to the corner, down to the baseline. Kicks it over to Allie McMillan. McMillan to the foul line. Lobs the right wing. Three-pointer by Ellen McMillan. High in the air, going to be no good. Rebound goes to Patton. She'll save it into the hands of Ull. Back to Allie McMillan. Her shot for the foul line is up and no good. Rebound going to be pulled down finally by Zadra. She'll be fouled by Ellen McMillan going over her back. And that's going to be... Personal foul number three on Ella McMillan. This team foul number two on the West Holmes Knights. That's one thing West Holmes really can afford is have their senior you know, leading scorer sitting on the bench here. Don't want to see that. Now the Quakers have it in a one-point lead, 22-21. Here's Robinson across the timeline. Her pass goes inside over to Mason. Mason's lamp, no good with the left hand. Rebound goes to Ella McMillan. She'll dribble it across the timeline for West Holmes. McMillan takes the right wing to Ull. Ull to the foul line. Back to Ella. Her three-pointer for the quarter's up and no good. Rebound to the four. Goes out of bounds off of the diving Ella McMillan. They just cannot get that shot to fall right now. They can't. And uh, you and I discussed this at halftime here. The West Holmes has not shot a free throw yet. And yeah. I was thinking, of, you know, maybe they might make that adjustments. Try to get something going to the hoop a little bit. 
if he's settling just a little bit too much. Right. Quakers have the basketball. Here's Robinson across the timeline. Pass goes out top to Zadra. On the right wing, back to Karras Young. Joe find Barker, left point. Barker dribbles it. Back to Robinson between the circles. Back on the right wing to Zadra. Back to Robinson. 22-21, New Philadelphia. Here's the handoff to Zadra out top. Right point back to Mason. Mason to the foul line. Picks it up. Gets the handoff. Here's Robinson to the left wing. Down to the baseline. Robinson under the basket. Picks it out top. Three-pointer's going to be up in the air. Going to be uh, no good by Ellie Mason. Rebound to the four. Grab by Allie McMillan. Long pass by Ella. She'll find Ull. Her lamp is going to be good. There you go. Ull has seven. And now West Holmes a 23-22 lead. The ninth lead change tonight. Quakers ball to the front court. Now Young has it. Back to Robinson. As again, they'll take that error of the basketball with the Quakers. Right corner of the pass to Zandra. Dribbles it to the foul line. Backs it in. Double team. Out top to Robinson. Surveys it. Robinson, jab step. Lobs it right wing. Over to Young. Young to the foul line. Poke loose and a reach and foul called on Chloe Patton. 13 foul West Holmes and Patton has her first personal. That's three pretty quick team fouls for West Holmes. Start the third quarter. Zero on New Philadelphia. And rack it up just a little bit. Yep. And checking in for West Holmes, Alina Proper. Will be into the game for the Lady Knights. Also, Briar Klein out there joining Allie and Ella McMillan. And also, Keegan Ohl. Inbounded and grabbed by Kaiser. She has it tied up. Good job by Proper to get her hands on the basketball. That'll be a turnover. Nah, they're going to keep it uh, New Philadelphia. Excuse me. Arrow will stay with the Quakers. And the win man will be Alasha Robinson. Robinson looking. Inbounds it grabbed by Stokey. Double team, kicks it right wing. On the fourth, stolen away now by Ella McMillan. She'll find Ull. Ull off her hands and couldn't grab it. She would have had a wide open layup had she done that. Instead, it'll be a turnover. It's just the right pass, just a little bit too much onto it. One of those nights. Tenth turnover for West Holmes. But they do have a one-point lead. 23-22, Lady Knights. Quakers had the ball with it across the timeline with 3.50 to play in the third. Here's Robinson. Pass goes to Young, right wing. Young dribbles it, takes a left point, spins around. She'll find Robinson high on the right side. Robinson holds on to the basketball, guarded by Briar Klein. On the left wing, back to Young. Robinson inside. Over to Kaiser, her lamp is going to be no good. Gets her own rebound, put back, is no good this time as well, but a foul that time. That'll send 5-9 senior Tori Kaiser to the foul line to shoot two. That was a nice little post move by Kaiser. A little sort of duck in the middle and turn back around to their left-hand side. Good move. 14 foul West Holmes. Briar Klein has her second personal. Stay tuned immediately following the game for a high school scoreboard on WKLM. It's brought to you by Village Motors. As it will be Dakota Patterson reporting on all the scores from around the area all the way until midnight. First free throw no good by Kaiser. And she'll have a second one to go. Harris Young in, Robinson is out. Free throw up, going to be no good in the second attempt. Rebound to Ella McMillan. West Hall's ball up 23-22. Past the front court, to be knocked out of bounds by Kaiser. will stay with West Holmes. Yeah, West Holmes trying to, to push the issue a little bit, get the ball down to court quick, put the pressure on New Philadelphia's defense. McMillan will check out. Ella will be in the end, nearly fair for West Holmes. Actually, McMillan going to inbound on the basketball instead. She'll do so over to Keegan Ole out top. Bull to the foul line, to the lane. Her layup off the last, no good. Rebound by Fair, who put back no good, but she was hacked on the arm. Neely Fair on the offensive rebound, and now she'll go to the foul line to shoot two. Well, that's Neely's second offensive rebound this game. Nice job. Much needed. Second team foul on New Philadelphia. They have foul called on Ava Reeson, her first personal foul. Free throws up, going to be no good for Neely Fair, 5'10", five, five, junior. Two points on the season for her coming into this game. She does have one bucket tonight. Fair second free throws up. Going to be no good. Missed them both. Rebound going to be hauled in by Reason. 5'11 sophomore. Quakers basketball across the timeline. Half court violation. They didn't see it. Pass goes to Reason to the corner. Goes out top. Now the dribble by Jazzy Barker. She dribbled across half court. Back across the half court line again. But they didn't see it. On the left wing, back over to Kiris Young. Now top of the pass to Kaiser. 
on the right wing. Here's Barker, three-pointers up in the air, going to be no good. Rebound knocked to the four. She's down by Ella McMillan. West Hall's ball. Still a one-point lead. McMillan across the timeline. She'll find Ool. Ool to the foul line. To the lane. Her lamp is going to be good. Good there take. Go. Ool now has nine, four in the third quarter. Getting something finally going to the hoop. As you've been calling for, 25-22 lead for West Holmes. Quakers basketball across the timeline. Here's Young with it high in the right. Young has the near side, grabbed now by Stokey. Back out top to Kaiser. Kaiser to the foul line, cut off. Spins around, kicks the right wing, deflected, out of bounds. Off the hands of Barker, that's a turnover for the Quakers now up to 15. At the conclusion of this contest, we'll be announcing the Subway player of the game. That player receives one complimentary foot-long fresh value meal from the Subway at 995 South Washington Street in Millersburg. West Ole's ball, two minutes to play, third quarter, and they're up 25-22. Allie McPill into the, the ball game pass goes to Ella. Al Sop, right wing back to Keegan Ole. Ole knocked loose, grabs it again. Pass to the corner, goes to Ella McMillan. She'll take it to the lane. Kicks the right wing back to Allie McMillan. Left wing back to Ool. Ool head fake, dribbles it, back out top to Allie McMillan. 140 to play third quarter. Down to the foul line. Over to Ella, to the foul line, to the lane. Her shot off the last, gonna be no good. Rebound to the four, gonna be grabbed finally by Robinson, and she will be fouled by Ool, going for the steal. It kind of slammed the ball in frustration, but it will be the 15th foul in West Holmes. Ool will pick up her second personal. <laughs> The Quaker crowd getting a little out of sorts there. But it'll be a Quaker basketball irregardless. Down by three, one and a half to play third quarter. Here's Robinson to the front court. She has it right wing. Gets the handoff over to Tori Kaiser. Back over to Zandra. Zandra to the right point. Gets the handoff over to Ava Risen. Back in the corner, received now by Mason. Back out top over to Kaiser. Kaiser, jab step. 108 to play third quarter. Back there, Robinson, right point. Surveys it. Robinson drives to the baseline. She's going to be hacked inside as she got a step on Allie McMillan. And that'll be the 16th foul now on the Lady Knights in this third quarter. That's just one more. Next foul is going to be a one on one rest of the game. So Allie McMillan with that uh, foul. And I had her for two, they had her for three on the, the scoreboard. That free throw up gonna be no good by Robinson. And check it in, Zelina Proper. And she'll replace Keegan Ole. One minute to play in the third quarter. Robinson, second free throw attempt is up. That is gonna be good. She has three points. 25-23 West Tolls, poker pressure is on. Here's Ella McMillan in the backcourt. Dribbles it, pass to the front court goes to Proper. Her pass inside, left post goes to Fair. Nice dump pass goes to Ella McMillan, but she missed the layup. Rebound to Ryzen, her pass knocked out of bounds by Allie McMillan, but it will be Quaker basketball on the back baseline. Just a couple opportunities West Holmes needs to capitalize on. It'll be Robinson with it in the backcourt, working against Allie McMillan. 40 seconds to play in the quarter. She'll take it across the half court line. Out top of the pass to Zadra. Zandra to the right wing, picks it up, hands it off over to Kaiser. Kaiser outs up, they hand off back to Robinson. 30 seconds to play in the third quarter. Now to Zandra, right point, Quakers down by two. Zandra top of the key, and there's a whistle, gonna be a foul call. And then it'll be a little hand check a on too much. Patton. Yeah, a little too much. Uh, controlling the offensive player with a hand. Her second 17 foul, so there's that bonus situation. And at the foul, I'm going to be Haley Zadra. She's currently 2 of 4 from the free throw line today. It does have four points overall. 22 seconds to go. Free throw's up, going to be no good. Rebound to the four, grab by Zelina Proper. Lady Knights basketball, Proper to the front court. Into the corner goes to Patton. Her three pointers up in the air, going to be knocked down. Nice. Chloe Patton. Big shot, 10 seconds to go in the third. The dribble by Robinson to the front court. Into the front court, four seconds and half court violation. They saw it that time. They did see this one this time. <laughs> yeah, that's the 16th turnover. Four seconds to play. 
West Holmes a 28-23 lead. Ian batted by Ellen Villa to Alley. Her shot at midcourt is going to be almost good, but it went off the rim no good. They I think it got a clock. timeout down here. Oh. So timeout. So I guess they uh, cancel all of that <laughs> last uh, scuffle there. Four seconds to, it will remain with that timeout. 28-23 West Holmes. We'll be back after this on WKLM. When it comes to service, nobody cares more than Village Motors in Millersburg. This is Deke Miller, and I'm proud to say that we have state-of-the-art equipment and factory-trained technicians working on your vehicle when you visit. And we also offer a variety of preventative maintenance programs designed to greatly reduce the cost of your service visits. We are competitive, convenient, and we care. So the next time you need your vehicle service, stop by and see us at Village Motors in Millersburg. West Olds will have the basketball and a timely timeout called by Lindsey Steiner. They'll have it here at side court, four seconds to go in the third. Ellen McMillan to inbound for the Lady Knights. And Mazel right wing to Allie McMillan to the quarter, three quarter up in the air, going to be knocked down at the buzzer by Chloe Patton. What does she get hot at the end of the quarter? And what a closeout at the end of this third quarter by the Lady Knights. Just the way they designed it up. <laughs> At the end of three, West Holmes 31 and New Philadelphia 23. This is girls OCC basketball on KLM. Are you having ongoing issues with your flat or low slope roof? MEB Systems of Sugar Creek specializes in flat or low slope roofs and has been serving the community and beyond since 1977. Whether it's tracking down or resolving that persistent leak, you are in need of a complete roof replacement, or you have a new build, MEB Systems will strive to find the best solution for you. They believe if a job is worth doing, it's worth doing right. Call MEB Systems Incorporated today at 330-852-4333 and visit them online at mebsystems.com. MEB Systems wishes all Holmes County athletes a safe and healthy season. At Mack Oil Field Service, they offer specialized trucking, water hauling, dirt work, and general oil field service in New York, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and Ohio. They have the equipment and manpower to tackle any task handed to them. The future lies in the hands of our youth, and Mack Oil Field Service is proud to support them. Call Mack Oil Field Service for all your oil field needs at 330-674-7371. That's 330-674-7371. West Holmes a 9-0 run to close out that third quarter. They lead it now 31-23 to begin the fourth quarter of play. West Holmes has the basketball as well to begin the fourth period. Out top to Ellen McMillan. Her pass goes near side to Allie McMillan, now high on the left side. Out top of the pass to Avion Yoder. Back to Patton, who dribbles it outside. Patton goes right corner to Ellen McMillan. Her three pointers up in the air, no good. Rebound batted around and finally grabbed by Ull. And West Holmes will keep the possession. Back to the hot shooting, Chloe Patton. Dribbles the right wing, now the handoff. Back to Allie McMillan. Back in the corner of the Patton. Patton holds onto it. Now dribbles it, pass inside. Trying to thread the needle, but stolen away by Robinson. And it will be, Robinson almost lost it, she'll pick it back up. Quakers basketball across the half court line. They trail it by Eight points. That pass goes right quarter. The back end by Reason. Goes right wing with the pass, but out of bounds on the pass and a turnover on the Quakers. Third quarter numbers courtesy of Don Hall. West Holmes two for four on three-pointers, 50%. New Philadelphia was 0 for 2. West Holmes three for eight from two-point range for 38%. New Philadelphia 0 for 2. West Holmes 0 for 2 for the foul line. Quakers were three for seven for 43%. West Holmes out rebounding the Quakers nine to eight in the third and also four turnovers for New Philadelphia, one for West Holmes in the third quarter of play. West Holmes ball in the fourth. Here's Allie McMillan on the right wing. Her pass right block inside to Avion Yoder. Now top to Patton. Back in the corner to Ella McMillan. Dribbles the left wing, now drive to the lane. Dumps it inside. Deflected away and dove after and stolen by the diving Haley Zadra. West Holmes has their 12th turnover. Here's the pass to the front court. Goes to the Ellie Mason. Mason to the corner, to the right block. Double team, and gets off for traveling. And for the Quakers, their 18th turnover tonight. West Holmes will have it up 31-23. And Madden to Allie McMillan. 
Back to Ella McMillan in the backcourt. To the frontcourt now to Zool. To Uhl. Her pass inside. Knocked away. Knocked out of bounds off of Ella McMillan. It'll be a turnover on West Holmes. And now up to 13 and don't want to get sloppy yeah, here. There must be something slippery on that ball because it's happening on both ends of the court right now. No doubt. Pressure on by the Lady Knights. Zandra inbounds it. It's going to be grabbed by Ellie Mason. Now to, to Robinson. Robinson poke loose. No vector stolen by Allie McMillan. Back to Ella. Her layup going to be no good. Gets her own rebound. But back is going to be no good. A foul goal before that shot was taken, though, on the floor. That'll be the 13th foul on the Quakers. I mean, that's a, really the first time that uh, Allie, I, or Al, yeah, Allie has really, I thought, made a difference on the defensive end, and that's normally we're saying her name left and right. No doubt. First personal on Zadra. Ball in at out top. It's grabbed by Ella McMillan. Back over to Allie on the left wing. Her pass at mid post inside of Ethan on Yoder. Back in the left wing to Allie McMillan. Drive to the lane. Dumps to the side over to Yoder, who makes it up and in. That's what we need to get to that middle. That's what happens. Yoder has four off the assist from Allie McMillan. 33-23 Lady Knights. Robinson across the timeline. Poke close, stolen away by Yoder. Down to Allie McMillan on the fast break. Dumps it inside to Ella, but knocked out of bounds by the trailing Karis Young, but it'll stay with West Holmes. The West Holmes, we're seeing them really speed up this Quaker team now in the second and half. They final. are, and I tell you, you're going to see that working on the fatigue of, of New Philadelphia coming up here as well. 33-23 West Holmes, 5.49 to play fourth quarter. And the inbound is Keegan Uhl. Her pass under the bucket. Stolen away by Karis Young. Good tonight defense. The uh, 14th turnover West Holmes. Almost turned over the ball right back to the Quakers, but they'll have it now. Zadra across midcourt. She'll be fouled. Yeah, blocking foul on Allie McMillan going for the steal. 18 fouls on West Holmes, though. McMillan has her fourth personal foul. Yeah, that that's... So that's, she'll have to back that, off a little that's, bit. That's true. Uh, she's going to have to back off because she's going to be sitting down. <laughs> yeah. I mean... Old Jack used to tell me, I said, if you've got three fouls on you, don't get that fourth, be smarter than that. Right. So Proper will check in, replacing Allie McMillan. Free throw, no good by Zadra. Rebound is going to be pulled down by Eva Yanni Yoder. West Oles has the ball. They have a 10-point lead, five and a half to go. Here's Patton, right wing on the pass to Uhl. To the foul line, Uhl's runners up in the air, knocks it down. Oh, nice. Keegan Uhl has the 11, 35-23 lead for the Lady Knights. And that 9 0 run back up to now a 11 0 run going back to that third quarter. Quakers ball. Zandra to the right wing. Now to the baseline. Her layup going to be high in the air. No good, but she was fouled again. Haley Zandra going back to the foul line again to shoot two. I mean, this New Philly has done a pretty good job of getting to, to the paint and actually getting to the rim and getting fouled. Just not making her foul shots. Surely have. Now, Ella McMillan, her third personal foul. Free throw up, no good. 19 fouls on West Holmes. And one more free throw for Haley Zadra. Stay tuned immediately following the game for High School Scoreboard on WKLM, brought to you by Village Motors. Second free throw good by Zadra. She has five. 35-24 lead for West Holmes. Pressure is on. McMillan across the timeline to uh, Patton. Nice dump pass inside to Aviana Yoder. Her lamp is going to oh. be good. Good jump stop by Aviana Yoder. Nice pass by Chloe. Six points for Yoder, four in the fourth quarter. West Holmes a 13-point lead. Baker's ball. Here's Young across the timeline. Crossover left wing. Down to the foul line. Young, pass right to the foul line, goes to Kaiser. Dribbles it, her shot blocked inside, but he uh, foul called. Yoder thought she had all ball, but instead the 10th team foul on West Holmes. Uh, sometimes the officials that really can't see it, they're going to look at that arm action, and her arm did swing down. Should have just, just went straight up in the air, verticality, and they... That's Nothing to call. You, that's what you want instead of the first personal on A.V. on Yoder. Tori Kaiser's at the foul line. The left-hander fires it up there. In and out, no good. Troy Miller Agency with offices in Shreve and Berlin. Wish good luck to all the area high school basketball teams. They'll provide you with a quote for your home, auto, and farm insurance. Proudly support representing the Wayne Insurance Group. Troy Miller Agency, a working team for all your insurance needs. Tori Kaiser made the second one her first point tonight. 37-25 lead for West Holmes. Focal pressure is on by the Quakers. Embedded to Keegan Uhl in the backcourt. Now to Ella McMillan. Back to Uhl. 
still in that backward area. Rule, pass to the front court, deflected, knocked out of bounds by Karras Young. Westles will have it here at side court. Yeah, with New Philadelphia with only two team fouls, they can afford to go up and gamble and be a little bit physical against West Holmes and gamble for that ball. See if they'll do that. In that and a grab by Patton. Back to Keegan Rule out top. West Holmes a 12-point lead. Four and a half to go. Down to Patton, right wing. Patton dribbles it down to the foul line for the lane. Missed the pass left wing, but too tall for Ull. Goes out of bounds, the 15th West Holmes turnover. So it will be Quakers basketball. Patton 12 points tonight. That is a new season high for her. Quakers with it in the front court. Here's the handoff to Jazzy Barker. Back to Young, the Barker right wing. Her three-pointer going to be off the mark. Rebound to the four. Going to be grabbed by Ella McMillan. Now to Patton in the backcourt. She'll take it across the half court line. Four minutes to play. Patton dribbles it. Looking. And going to be a timeout called by West Oles. 3.58 to play. West Oles 37. New Philadelphia 25. This is girls OCC basketball on WKLM. Whatever Mother Nature has in store, you're not worried because you've got Yokohama's Geolander AT G015 on your side. Stop by Holmes Tire LLC to find out what a new set of all-terrain tires can do for your truck or SUV. This tire is all traction designed to take you from the pavement to the trail in any weather, anytime you want. Discover the Yokohama Geolander AT G015 and get ready to experience what all-terrain is all about. Stop by Holmes Tire LLC today and fill out a finance application for approval with no credit needed on new tire purchases. Call Holmes Tire LLC in Miller's Three three zero six seven four zero zero two five, or their other locations in Spencer, Mount Vernon, and now open in Loudonville. At Wayne Door, we are your trusted partner in helping you build your dream home with quality technicians who pay attention to every detail, so you won't have to pay costly future repairs. At Wayne Door, we only install high-quality products to protect your family for generations to come. We have your whole house covered with garage doors, windows, and more. So choose the team at Wayne Door. People you can trust since 1973. Visit WayneDoor.com for a free quote today. Stop by Southside quickly when asked for a Quaker State oil change for performance you can count on. Quaker State, the power to reduce friction. Westholmes ball pass inside goes to Yoder. She'll make it up and in. Nice inbounds play for Westholmes out of the timeout. That's a great job by Coach Snyder setting that play up. A new season high with that bucket for Avion Yoder. She now has eight points. Quakers basketball on the other end. Drive by Robinson. Her shot up in the air going to be no good. Rebound grabbed by Stokey. Her putback is good. Marilyn Stokey has six. 39-27 West Oles. They'll beat the pressure. Into the front court. Decline. Dump pass goes to Avion Yoder. Her lamp is going to be good. <laughs> and she really has finished well on the front of the basket. Just... I mean, that, and that's what you need in a game like this when things aren't going your way is somebody to step up. Good to see that. Ten points. Avion Yoder again. Adding to her season high ball, stolen away by Ella McMillan. Back to Proper. Proper on the fast break. Proper, her shot blocked. Rebound grabbed by Young, but knocked out of bounds off of West Holmes, and it will be New Philadelphia basketball. At the conclusion of tonight's contest, we'll be announcing the Subway player of the game. That player receives one complimentary foot-long fresh value meal from the Subway in Millersburg. 41-27 lead for West Holmes. Three minutes to go. Into the front court is Karis Young. Spins around. Pass goes right point to Zadra. Zadra to the foul line. Out top now to Stokey. Who dribbles it? Around the foul line over to uh, Kaiser. Back in the left wing to Zadra. Zadra to the baseline to the right blocker. Shot up going to be good. Oh. And the foul. Count that bucket. A chance for a three-point play on that foul on Ella McMillan, her fourth personal. We got both McMillans now with four fouls. Already double bonus West Holmes, but it doesn't matter. It be one free throw year regardless. Ben Zadra, she's uh, made a living at the foul line. She's at three of eight right now. Seven points for Zadra in all. Stop by Buckeye Farm and Garden for your farming and construction needs across from Holmes Lumber off the State Route 39 and at BuckeyeFarmandGarden.com. Free throws up in the air going to be no good. Another miss on the line. Rebounds to the four. Knocked out of bounds. It'll be off of New Philadelphia in the diving Ellie Mason. West Oles will have the ball in a 12-point advantage. Two and a half to go. Four core pressure is on by the Quakers. And batted by Ella McMillan. She'll find Patton, but knocked away. Back over to Ella McMillan in the backcourt. Dribbles it. 
Pass goes to Ali McMillan across the time by long pass oh, received by Ole. Pass. Her layup is good. <laughs> oh, now up to 13.4 in the fourth quarter off the assist from Ali McMillan. 43-29 Lady Knights. Quakers ball. Poke loose. Ellen McMillan diving after it. Grabbed by Zadra. It'll be tied up. Hell ball arrow stays with New Philadelphia. I mean, that last transition bucket, the ball got to not even half court and it didn't even touch the floor. Cross court passes. Beautiful. Great, great vision. Looking down court. And now Zadra to inbound it to the corner. Pass the right block. Goes inside to Mason. She lost it. Grabs it again. Ellen Mason's shot blocked inside, but a foul is called. On Chloe Patton. Once again, it was because of the swing. She might have got all ball and didn't touch her, but the official just saw the swing down. So that's the reason the third personal foul as a result. At the line, Ellie Mason, who has three points, has not scored in the second half. Free throw up. In and out, no good. And they've had a lot of misses on that free throw line. 43-29 lead for West Holmes. 2-10 to play. Second free throw. No good. Missed them both. Rebound to the floor. Out of bounds. Yoder trying to grab it. We went out of bounds off of her hands, and it will be Quakers basketball again. They'll have it beneath their own backboard. Kiros Young. It's a pass off to the corner. It'll be grabbed on the far side by Barker. Goes out top of the to Kiros Young. Left corner back to Kaiser. Kaiser to the foul line. Her 15 footers up in the air. Going to be no good. Rebound grabbed by Chloe Patton. Patton dribbles it, gets the handoff. Here's Allie McMillan across the timeline. Into the corner to Elle McMillan. Her three-pointer's going to be no good, missed everything. But the rebound is picked up inside by Aviana Yoder. They'll reset the offense. 1.40 to go. Westall's ball. Allie McMillan going to be bumped. No uh -huh. foul. Wow. And a turnover. Here's the pass. Al top. Knocked away. Goes out of bounds off of a diving West Holmes. And... It'll stay with New Philadelphia. You know, West Holmes may be up, what, 14 points, but there's <laughs> bodies everywhere. Still diving. Still diving on that floor. Gotta love that effort. Well, and they know no other way. <laughs> That's right. It's the way it's thought. And to win down, Karis Young. 129 to go. And bounds it out top and grabbed by... Celtelia Eppenshield gets it out top to Barker. Barker gets the handoff over to Jazzy Barker. Dribbles the left point. Over to Ellie Mason, left wing. Mason drive, dump nice pass, pass, nice look. Kaiser will make it up and in. And there'll be a timeout call right after that. Kaiser with that bucket. And timeout with 110 to go. 43 31 West Holmes. This is girls high school basketball on WKLM. Fox's Pizza Den in Millersburg is looking for smiling faces to join their team. Day shifts are available six to seven hours per day, six days a week. Successful candidates will need the following skills, the ability to work as a team, self-motivated, dependable, customer-focused, and able to follow directions with limited supervision. If you are interested, stop by the store at 42 North Grant Street to pick up an application. Fox's Pizza Den is a proud supporter of all Holmes County athletes. Connection, comfort, and safety. Three necessities for every stage of senior living. At Danbury Senior Living, peace of mind is a must for the senior and their family. Experience this and more at Danbury Senior Living of Worcester and Millersburg. Stop in for a tour at Glen Drive in Millersburg and Portage Road in Worcester. Or visit us at danburyseniorliving.com for more information. A leader of senior care in Wayne County for nearly a decade. Let Danbury be your choice in the next step of senior living. Twelve-point ball game. West Holmes has the basketball in the lead. They'll have it on the back baseline against that full-court pressure of New Philadelphia. Embedded, grabbed by Keegan Ohl into the front court. Long pass, trying to chase down. It'll be grabbed in the corner by Chloe Patton. Out top to Evie on the Back on the near side of the pass goes to Allie McMillan. Her layup is going to be no good, but she was fouled. Good ball, but before West Holmes, it'll lead to a foul inside. West Holmes has shot two free throws tonight. This is going to be their third and fourth. How about that? Just the third team foul of uh, this second half on New Philadelphia. That foul on Ava Reason, her second personal. 
Allie McMillan free throw up and good. She'll knock it down. Her first point tonight. 44-31 lead for West Oles. One minute to go. She came in averaging seven points per game. The second free throw is good. Makes them both. Two points for Allie McMillan. 45-31 Lady Knights. Quakers ball. Down by 14. Pass to the right wing. Goes over to Karis Young. Back to Barker. To Robinson in the corner. Dribbles it to the baseline. Nowhere to go. Robinson with the pass. Off the hands of Allie McMillan. She'll keep it in bounds for the steal over to Owen. Owen will be taken out along that baseline. So a foul call, but we'll, sh we'll shake it up there. So a little attend to her with 41 seconds to go, fourth quarter. 45 31 West Holmes will take this injury timeout. This is Girls OCC Basketball on WKLM. When life's urgency strike, Depend on Pomeroy Medical Center East, home to Full Spectrum Urgent Care, on-site x-ray, and occupational health services. They treat all ages for minor illnesses and injury, such as burns, cough and congestion, sprains, strains, and more. Comprehensive occupational health services like physicals, tests, and screenings are also provided under one roof, offering the convenience of local care and extended hours. Pomeroy Medical Center East, located on State Route 39 near Walnut Creek. They're here when life happens. Call 893-0793. Shop Gugasburg Cheese for all your holiday gift and party needs. Our beautiful gift baskets make the perfect holiday gift, and our party trays are great for your football or holiday get-togethers. Visit our store and pick up one of our pre-made baskets and gift packs, or create your very own to be customized according to your needs. You can also pre-order your baskets and party trays, and we'll have them ready for pickup at your convenience. Let us do the work, and you take the credit. We're open Monday through Saturday from 9 to 5. Hope to see you soon. Time to get on uh, under our feet here, but also the Quakers coaching staff not very pleased, Don, down on the floor, and uh, technical also being called by the official. Well, I, th I, I think, if I'm not mistaken, they called an intentional foul, and that's what he was upset about. So I think you're going to see uh, what. Two fouls, four, four foul shots because technical foul right. as well. Absolutely. So that's a big here at the final 41 seconds. And West holds a chance to kind of close out this game. So Ellen McMillan will be at the foul line. Of course, nobody along the lane with the intentional free throws and also the technical free throws. That free throw is no good. Second free throw by Ellen McMillan is up. Going to be good. Splits a pair. She has five points. She came in averaging 15 and a half a game. But not her best shooter tonight, but other players have helped uh, pick her up. Absolutely. Second free throw, no good. Right there. Third free throw, no good. And she'll have a fourth one to go. That free throw's up. That will be good. Makes two of four. She has six points tonight. And West Oles will also have the ball at 47-31. 41 seconds to play. And a timeout, West Oles. 47-31, Lady Knights. This is girls high school basketball on WKLM. If you're in the market for farm equipment, parts, or service, there's one place that can handle it all. Buckeye Farm and Garden is your one-stop shop for all your farming needs. Located off State Route 39 between Millersburg and Berlin. Buckeye Farm and Garden specializes in sale and service of tractors, balers, tillers, box blades, brush hogs, feeders, spreaders, hay rakes, and much, much more. Check out their inventory at BuckeyeFarmandGarden.com or call to set up an appointment at 330-674-0456. Buckeye Farm and Garden, your farm equipment connection for the night's broadcast and an example of a good basketball team Don. well not everything's kind of going your way and it certainly wasn't here tonight for West Holmes McMillan especially Ella McMillan not her best shooting night when you think about players picking her up Keegan Oll a big night Chloe Patton a big night Evie on the those players all stepping up for West Holmes to get this uh, I win mean, and that's what you need to be a complete team and then and, and that's what happened tonight uh Aviana Yoder and, and, and Chloe Patton I mean you, you, I don't have words for it. I mean, it's just you knew it was there. You knew it was there, and the girl hasn't played in two years uh. and comes out and has a night like tonight, and which they truly, truly needed, uh, speaks volumes. It certainly does. West Holes will have it at side court out of that timeout. Ella McMillan to inbound. 47-31, Lady Knights. It'll be grabbed by Allie McMillan. Final 40 seconds. Into the front court. Pass to the corner. Goes to Proper. 
Yeah, they're just going to hold it. They'll spread it around. They'll work this clock down and, and get this win. Pass near side to Allie McMillan. New fouls here for the Quakers. Now the final 20 seconds of this one. Now to Allie McMillan. Back over to Ella. Right wing back of the pattern. Now the final 15 seconds. West Holmes will remain unbeaten on the season as well as in OCC play. Now the final 10 seconds to go. And they finally actually do call a foul on uh, Barker. Her first 15, 14 foul on the Quakers. It will not be a bonus, so just 7.7 .7 seconds to go. Allen McMillan to inbound. It'll be grabbed by Alley. Final five seconds of this one. Cross score pass goes to Patton. Final two seconds, one, and that will do it. And West Oles gets a hard fought win tonight. 47 to 31 over New Philadelphia. And for the Lady Knights, they again will remain unbeaten at 6-0 on the season. 4-0 in the OCC. New Philadelphia dropping to 4-3 overall. That is their first loss in conference play, going to 3-1 in the Ohio Cardinal Conference. Again, the final score tonight from the dungeon. It was West Stoles 47 and New Philadelphia 31. Back to wrap it up after this on WKLM. It's time to be thinking about those concrete projects. Call Homes Ready Mix of Millersburg, offering ready mix concrete, precast blocks, and a variety of mason and concrete products. Call today for prices and delivery options of ready mix concrete at 674-0865 or sand and gravel at 674-8121. That's Homes Ready Mix of Millersburg, a proud supporter of all Holmes County athletes. Howard Hanna Real Estate Services continues to give you even more options for all your real estate needs. As your local market experts, Howard Hanna has been known as trusted realtors who take special care of your real estate opportunities. Visit them on the web at howardhanna.com or call them at 674-7610. Plus, don't forget about RES Auction Services at res.bid for the latest auctions. Visit the RES Auction Yard for their equipment auction on December 10th and late model equipment on December 30th. Call for consignments at 833-765-3737. Howard Hanna Real Estate Services and RES Auction Services on Glen Drive in Millersburg and visit RES at the Auction Yard on Fry Road in Worcester. They're stronger together and here for you. Get financial solutions when you need it from Dave Schlebel Financial Services. After winning six state championships as a head basketball coach, Dave Schlebel knows that planning, preparation, and hard work can lead to success. And the same can be applied to your financial future. Whether you are a young adult, individual, family, or a business, Dave Stable Financial Services will establish financial goals and income protection. Contact Dave Stable Financial Services at 893-1900, located at 4585 State Route 39, Millersburg. Securities offered through ON Equity Sales Company, member FINRA SIPC. East Holmes Veterinary Clinic in Berlin and Millersburg also owns Pampered Paws in Millersburg and the Red Ruff Ruff Inn in Berlin. East Holmes Veterinary Clinic is there for all your pet needs. Whether it is for veterinary services, grooming, or boarding, there is only one place to call. That's East Holmes Veterinary Clinic with locations in Berlin at 893-2057, Millersburg at 674-5591, Pampered Paws 674-7297, or the Red Ruff Ruff Inn at 893-2057. Stop in today. A single-family home located at 10533 State Route 39 Millersburg is listed for sale by Coppin Realty and Auctions with an asking price of $349,900. This property was built in 1980 and has three bedrooms and three full baths with 1,848 square feet. Located in the Hazel Asher Allotment Subdivision in the West Hills Local School District. For more information for the choose a date and time to see this property, contact Mark Lau at 330-674-7355 or check it out at KaufmanRealty.com. This is a final from the dungeon tonight. West Holmes gets the win 47-31 over New Philadelphia. The Quakers led 9-8 after the first quarter and also a 20-19 lead at halftime over West Holmes. The first half that saw six lead changes and also one tie and the Quakers had a one point halftime advantage. Then back and forth we went in the third quarter as they would lead with switched hands three times in the third, but West Holmes a key run to close out the third quarter. They actually would close out the third on the 9-0 run. 
That would be a key stretch as West Hills will take a 31-23 lead through three, and they would outscore the Lady Quakers 16-8 in the final quarter, and West Holmes gets the win, 47-31 over New Philadelphia. For West Holmes, they would finish up with three players in double figures. Leading the way for them was Keegan Ohl. As for Ohl on the night, she would finish up going one for four on three-point tries, five for six from two-point range. That was her total of 13 points and in double figures for the fifth time this season for Keegan Ohl. Also in double figures, Chloe Patton had herself a new season high tonight. As for Patton, two for two from beyond the three-point line, three for three from two-point range. Chloe Patton with a key 12 points tonight. Her first time in double figures this season for Chloe Patton. Also for West Holmes, Eviani Yoder was in double figures for the first time this season. A new season high for Yoder. She was five for eight from two-point range for her total of 10 points. And six points scored by Ella McMillan. Two points for Allie McMillan. Two points apiece also for Neely Fair and Zelina Proper, running out the West Holmes total of 47. For New Philadelphia in the losing effort, they were led in the scoring by Haley Zandra. Zandra was two for three from two-point range. She was also three for nine for the foul line. That was her total of seven points. And Marilyn Stokey off the bench tonight would go two for two from two-point range and two for two from the foul line. Stokey, she had six points. Also six points by Jazzy Barker. Barker would score all of her points in the first half. Barker two for five from three-point distance tonight for her total of six. Three points apiece also for Ellie Mason, Lasha Robinson, and Tori Kaiser. Three points also scored by Karis Young, running out the Lady Quakers total of 31. Final score tonight, West Holmes 47 and New Philadelphia 31. Now for the final team numbers, here's Don Hall. Thank you, Matt. Final score, West Holmes 47, New Philadelphia 31. Three-point field goals, West Holmes 3 of 11 for 27%. New Philadelphia 3 of 9 for 33%. Two-point field goals, West Holmes 17 of 32 for 53%. New Philadelphia 7 of 14 for 50%. From the free throw line, West Holmes 4 of 8 for 50%. New Philadelphia 8 of 21 for 38%. Total rebounds, West Holmes wins that 29 to New Philadelphia's 23. Total turnovers, New Philadelphia 22, West Holmes with 16. Individual rebound leaders for West Holmes, Ella McMillan had six rebounds and also five boards for Allie McMillan. She had two at the offensive end. And for New Philadelphia, and finishing up for them, it was uh, three rebounds for Haley Zandra and two boards apiece for Lasher Robinson, Ellie Mason, and Karis Young, as well as Tori Kaiser and Ava Risen in Maryland Stokey. Final score tonight, West Holmes, the winner 47-31 over the Quakers to remain unbeaten in the year. It wasn't easy, Don, but a, a, a solid second half, really a key stretch at the end of that third quarter to get this win. And that's what it was, is West Holmes, I think, amped up their defensive intensity, especially in that third quarter. And uh, I think actually got some things going to the bucket. More layups, and I mean, they shot over 50% from two-point field goals. That's because they were shooting inside that key. Our Subway player of the game goes to Chloe Patton, a new season high for her, 12 points, and she'll receive one complimentary foot-long fresh value meal from a the Subways in Millersburg and Chloe Patton of course you know her story all the time she's missed and great to have her back on the floor playing basketball again this year and uh, really good to see here really important uh, uh, play and points for her tonight that West Hills needed here oh absolutely and, and the best thing about Chloe is is I mean at the beginning of the year even this summer you know everybody was that I've talked to or even some of the teammates uh says you know just to have her on that floor just uh, it's just a confidence for us you know just because she's a leader well, she's a leader, but darn it, she can score too, you know. <laughs> she can rebound, she can handle the ball, and she showed that tonight. Yes, she did. And how about Eva Yanni Yoder? Good to see you talk about confidence, just to be able to finish those shots around the, the basket. And that was also key with her 10 points. Yeah, that, that's, that's another one. You know, it's just another threat in West Holmes' repertoire down the road. You're going to have to find out where Patton is. You're going to have to know where Yoder is uh, because everything truly doesn't go through McMillan's. I mean, especially tonight it did not. Uh, but uh, it's good to have other girls step up when needed, and, and tonight was that that time. And we've seen it from Keegan Ohl, obviously, but it's also nice to have another guard like that uh, to take some pressure off the McMillans when Ohl can also knock those shots down as well. Yeah, and that's good. And, and, and Chloe can handle the ball as well. And uh, that's it's just 
you can never have as many ball handlers. I mean, Jack Van Reith used to tell me, he says, you know, I want five ball handlers out on the floor all the time if I could. You know, unfortunately, I can't because i got to have that post player, yada, yada. But, uh, I mean, it, it, it's a good thing to have is to, to have that sitting in your back pocket of Chloe Patton to, to handle the ball or, you know, besides Keegan and, and, and Alan, McMillan, Alan McMillan. The Quakers get the loss here tonight, a tough one for that. But at the same token, you can see this Quakers team improving this season and certainly even with West Olds, what they can handle here tonight. I was uh, really impressed with New Philadelphia, uh, how they were changing defenses in the first half. They didn't do so much in the second half because they couldn't score. But it seems like every time after they score, they went back into either a 1-2-2 a two, two zone defense or a 2-2-1 two, two, half court sort of a laid back press. Uh, nice young coach. Uh, did a lot of a lot of good adjustments. Uh, he's got his JVs at the end, and you know how you get depth is you develop depth, and that's what he was doing tonight. All right, that's the voice of Don Hall. West Holmes does get the win, 47 to 31. They're now 6 and 0 in the season, 4 and 0 in the OCC, and they'll be playing on Saturday a home game against Ashland. For New Philadelphia, they all dropped their record of 4 and 3 with the loss, 3 and 1 in the OCC. Their first conference loss, and now their next game will be on Saturday a home game against Worcester. Our next game will be uh, tomorrow night. Boys basketball, Tuskegee Valley is at Highland. They'll be on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com. Also Saturday, two games. Both will be video live streamed on YouTube Saturday. Girls basketball in the afternoon. Highland at Garraway, airtime 135. And then Saturday night, the Steve Smith Showcase. It'll be at Orville High School for the first time this year. It'll be Highland taking on Norway from Orville. Airtime 535, game time at 6 p.m. Check out our entire basketball broadcast schedule on our website at WKLMFM.com. Click on the On Air tab. We do want to thank our partners with uh, Claxon Communications, allowing us to bring you this video live stream tonight. And that being Casey Claxon, Lydia Brady, as well as Greg Perkins, all helping provide the video feed tonight. And also Dakota Patterson back at WKLM Sports Central. Reminder to stick around after the broadcast. We'll have high school scoreboard. We'll have all the area scores for you every 15 minutes all the way until midnight. Again, the final score in girls basketball from the dungeon. It was West almost 47 in New Philadelphia 31. So long, everybody. Tonight's broadcast has been a production of WKLM Radio and Claxon Communications. 